that has stood me so well in life. So my parents were not all that loving. I want to make something clear in the age of love. There are a lot more important things for parents to do than constantly tell their kids they love them, okay? Like give them moral guidance. Give them uh, more important than love is security. Uh, a, a, A lot of parents love their kids, but it's not a secure home at all. So, uh, but I had security, I had guidance, I had good models in my parents, I had a lot of things, but I didn't get much love. Not, not because they were bad. It, in that age, in any event, it wasn't the biggest thing to, to love up your kids and tell them how much you love them and, and all that sort of stuff. And they were, frankly, they were preoccupied with each other. My parents had a 73-year love affair. And my brother and I were sort of um, residents in the house. (laughs) We, you know, he had room six, I had room two. (laughs) Okay, so I learned at a very early age, because I knew I wanted love. And I, so I learned at a very early age, and and I I thank God, or I thank my nature, or I thank luck, that I realized this so early. If I'm not going to get love in the house, I got to get it outside of the house. And that's what I did. And from the, I remember from when? Sixth grade. From sixth grade until today, uh, I have had extremely close male friends. And I would say with love, I love them and they love me. And this has been true since sixth grade. So uh, now, by the way, there were also other relatives that were very loving to me. So it's not like I grew up loveless, but I just, it wasn't largely from my parents. So I, I, I had this great realization, which to me is sort of like two and two is four. If you don't get what you want or need, if you will, from X, Y, and Z, then get it from A, B, and C. It sounds so logical, but people don't think that way. They think, oh, woe unto me. My parents didn't give me uh, much love. No, not woe unto you. Do something about it. Don't think woe unto you. Do something about it. Get There is love available to you. And and I've, I've gotten oodles of it. I've, I've, I've had so many wonderful... Uh, close, loving friends in my life. And it it has been, uh, truly been a gift. There's another subject, by the way, about friends of the same sex and friends of the opposite sex. I'm I'm a same sex friend advocate, by the way. And a lot of good reasons for that, but that's another subject for another time. So those those were the two huge uh, lessons And they really helped shape me into a strong and happy human being, which I am to this day.